we get the last final look at 2016 GDP growth. I suspect at 8.30 on Thursday morning, the drums will be rolling as we are waiting for the big number. Is this Thursday morning, is 2016 going to be eight consecutive years of an, an administration? Seven years is unprecedented. We've already got that where we have seen 2% or less GDP growth. Will it be eight? I believe the seven years is going to last forever. I don't think that's going to be broke anytime soon. But eight years. Will former President Obama eke out a year above 2%? We'll see. It's not expected to be. GDP, the last final look, is expected to be about 2%. Last time it was 1.9%. We'll see. I would suspect that it would be over 2%, frankly. Based on some of the correlating numbers, I know a lot of the numbers that I'm thinking about and looking at, we got in January for first quarter of this year. But some of that has got to be left over from December last quarter last year. So I think that's going to have a little bit of a bigger impact on GDP. And I would not be surprised if we see a 2.2% GDP. Well, it looks like uh, global markets are very concerned over Obamacare not getting approved. They were very concerned about delays in tax policies. Now they don't care about tax reform. They care about, I guess they care about what's not going to happen with Obamacare now. The only thing I was caring about was with Obamacare was, of course, I wanted the bill right, for sure. But the one thing I was concerned about was that it was delaying the legislative process. You got, remember, it's going to be April and Friday. They only work eight days in the month of April. And even that's probably seven days too many. I'd be happy if they just, maybe, maybe if they weren't there, it'd be better. Um, but anyway, eight days, so they're not going to get a legislative process. So the concern was, how do we get any kind of tax reform when they're not going to be there? They're not going to be there the month of August. So, so theoretically, does this have to be done by August 1st, tax reform, in order to be retroactive for 2017? I don't know. Well... So now you catch a break. They're going to back burner Obamacare reform. They're going to back burner that and take a hold of the number one priority now being tax reform. I would think that that would be a good thing. 